So I am just starting my morning with a morning walk. I've got my morning coffee here. Um, I did have a stretch this morning as well, so I stretched my body out. Um, but for more of like my morning routines and what I get up to in the morning, follow me on Instagram at pagefitfoodpage because you'll see all my morning routines. Um, I love to film those. They're like my favorite things to film. Um, but yes, I'm gonna go on a morning walk, probably for about 45 minutes, um, get some steppies in, and yes, I've been waiting for the sun to rise. It takes ages for it to rise, you know, January, it's dark all the time. Um, but the sky is literally like pink out there. So I'm gonna now go on my walk now that the sun has rose. Um, it is eight o'clock walk, and then I'm gonna come back, have my breakfast, do a bit of work before we then head to the gym. Um, but yes, we'll see you, you guys when I get back. I just quickly wanted to put a quick clip in and say that I am now working with Skin and Me, which is really exciting because December, my skin was so bad. I actually didn't even make any YouTube videos, so you can't actually see, but my skin doesn't normally react that bad, but for some reason, the changing weather, do you know when it dropped to like, one day it was 12 degrees and the next day it was like minus 12 degrees here in London and my skin just broke out and I needed some good help. So Skin and Me actually really, really helped that time. Um, but so let me just tell you a bit about them. So your product is personalised, as you can see on there, it says four page. So your product is actually designed by dermatologists. You fill out a consultation form, you send off photos of your skin, and then they put together your perfect Skin and Me product all in one little stick. It has got a daily dose, so you basically twist a stick as you can see on here it's got lines and one line is one day so this will last you a full month you twist the cap to when it clicks and it releases your cream there there's a bit of cream on there from last night's um daily dose um so you twist it it releases the perfect amount that you need so that is how much you need to use spread it on your face and that is it done and then you apply it every day they it is a subscription as well so you do get a new one every month but this can be cancelled at any time i do have a discount link in the description box down below so you can go and try out skin and me for yourself but yes thank you so much skin and me for sponsoring the video and for working with me So disgusting um okay just been doing some work and now i'm gonna head to the gym it's a little bit later than i planned it's 11 o'clock um but i edited the podcast the podcast is now live i don't know whether i've been on here since the podcast went live but we do now have a podcast me and danny so check it out i'll leave the link down below um but yeah so just wanted to crack on and get a bit of work done before i head out to the gym um because i want to be like productive before my gym i'm going to start to prioritize the right things in 2023 so yes i did that after my walk um and my breakfast which was delicious just had a normal oat bowl i'm trying to get back into the routine of like just normal food normal breakfast normal lunches like don't know about you but my digestion and bowels i'm a little bit constipated after christmas 
just out of routine so i'm trying to get back into routine eating normal foods again um so yes i have oh i just ate some pre-workout cocoa pops and i didn't film it oh anyway i had some pre-workout cocoa pops um so i just wanted to quickly talk about my training before i head off to the gym um so my current training routine i'm aiming for around three weight sessions a week um i'm usually doing full body sessions um at the minute well before christmas i was just kind of planning them before i was going they were just more to like do something whilst i'm not running um and i do want to maintain and keep as much muscle as i can fingers crossed whilst training for a marathon which is obviously going to be really hard because i'm prioritizing running um so yes i'm doing three full body sessions a week at the minute um one of them three body three full body sessions is mainly lower body um but the other ones is a mix i also didn't want to focus too much on my lower body um and do like a two lower one upper split because i have a knee injury and i don't really want to be doing too much squatting too much lunging anything like that so i kind of just put in the odd exercise here and there into my full body days so i'm aiming for two full bodies and one more lower slash posterior chain focused and then um i'm aiming for four runs a week um with one day a week being full rest day and then one of the days um two of the days being just runs i believe does that make sense I think that's right i can't remember um but yes yeah, so three weight training four runs a week um my marathon training is has just started yesterday and i have actually gone with a marathon training plan on the app runner um so Okay, this is a bit of a full circle moment um, and I wanted to just pop this in here. This is actually the day after now, but I have been, well, the app actually contacted me over on Instagram. Um, the app that I'm using for my marathon training plan um, called Runner. I was a paying customer before. Um, absolutely loved it. Like, love the app, which is what I'm talking about in this video um but yeah now i work with them which is absolutely amazing so i get you guys two weeks free um to try out runner yourselves um i will leave my code and also the link down in the description box down below if you do want to give it a try it's not just for people that are wanting to train for marathons either either it's for people that are just wanting to start and running maybe a couch to 5k maybe a half marathon a marathon or an ultra you can train for any of these on the app it is personalized to you so you put in like your running times um you know what you're training for things like that and it will put together a training plan for you but i do have a two week free trial with my code and link so try it out you can always cancel your sub subscription after the two weeks so you don't get charged but Honestly, you won't want to. I'm definitely going to be keeping the app even after my London Marathon because I do have some other running goals in mind and I just want to keep that fitness and stamina up as well. So I'm definitely going to be keeping the app even if I work with them or not. I was a paying customer anyway. So yes, I'm really happy to now say that I am working with Runner. Anyway, let's get back to the video. Um, but anyway, so this is my training plan. They have some amazing running plans. You basically gives you a running plan you fill out a questionnaire slash consultation form and then it'll give you your own running plan it is 15 pound 99 after that a month which i think is absolutely amazing for this kind of detailed running plan so you click on it it tells me what runs i need to do this week so yesterday i did a tempo run um of 7k i actually did 10k yesterday but i downloaded the app after the run so let me off um tomorrow i will be doing intervals Thursday I'm going to be doing an easy run 6k and then Saturday I've got my long run planned of 14k and then from there it obviously progresses as we get closer to the marathon. Um, you follow the run along as you go so if it's on Wednesday I click view run it's connected to my Garmin connected to my Strava um, and then I can just start recording the workout. Actually tell me the voice on here tells me when to run when I need to slow down and things during my intervals. Start running this ha lap is two kilometers warm up. How good is that? That is Workout amazing. In four seconds. I definitely well didn't do page. that. I definitely Thank didn't do that in four seconds. Ah, oh, um, yeah, so I downloaded that. I'm so excited to do my intervals tomorrow because I haven't done proper intervals ever. And intervals are the ones that basically get your speed up because you've got to run fast. Um, so yes, excited for that. That is what I'm doing with my marathon. So I have a good plan in place. Lots of rest, lots of recovery, lots of food, lots of stretching. 
lots of yoga pilates just to strengthen stretch out um but yes three weight training four runs that is my training routine at the minute which i thought i'd update you all because you're all asking what i'm doing what my training marathon uh, what my marathon training plan is and things like that so that is exciting anywho i'm gonna now head to the gym i'm gonna go do one of my full body sessions the first one of the week because yesterday i did a 10k run so i'm gonna do this one today i'm not running today then tomorrow i am due a interval run and i will also do a bit of weights as well but yes thanks for listening to my ted talk with my training plan i'm going to the gym now let's go i've got my bag on she's ready to go probably won't film much of it but Let's see how busy it is actually at this time of day. Normally it's really dead, but obviously it's January, so I'm expecting it to be dizzy. Dizzy? Dizzy? I'm expecting it to be busy like all day, but let's see how it goes. Let's get to the gym and let's do a workout. <laughs> I have just cooked up my lunch. Um, two scrummy eggs, some mushrooms, some tomatoes, some spinach, and a bagel with lots of butter. That is for lunch today, um, nice and quick. I have a call. My two o'clock call's been canceled, so I'm on a call at three now. Um, so I thought I'd eat lunch and then I can get a little bit of work done before I go on my call at three. But yeah, I'm gonna go and tuck into this. Session was good. Um, I will put what session I did in on the screen when I'll have put it already, you'll have seen. Um, did like a full body little workout and then yeah, come back having lunch and we'll see where the afternoon takes us. It's wet outside now, it's starting raining, which is a shame. Um, but yeah, gonna go and eat my lunch. myself a cup of tea in my christmas cup it's still christmas time um yeah and i have also grabbed myself a protein what's protein bar the ridiculous protein bar this is chocolate biscuit crunch flavor i'll leave my discount code down below and my link um and yeah this is my lunch dessert afternoon snack whilst i do some work um, and just before my call that I've got in an hour's time. But yeah, I'm gonna eat this. So I'm back from my call. I'm having a late afternoon snack. It's like four o'clock. So I'm having these Soya Krispies. They come in this massive bag, right? I eat them like cereal. They're from Coro, so high in protein, right? A hundred grams is 60 grams of protein. So I've got like a 40 gram bowl here. I'm bad at maths, but that's a whopping, whopping amount of protein for a bowl of cereal. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. I'm having to start drinking juice, by the way, because I'm finding it so hard to drink water when it's cold. And I want to get three litres down, so... And that's all I've drank today, so I need to drink some more. And 500 millilitres of breakfast, so... I'd say nearly a litre and a half I've had, but I need to drink more. Mm. Um, 
picked all my eyelashes out whilst I was doing my work because I don't know why. I can't not. So, got little stumpy eyelashes now. Got a bit more work to do. I'm gonna go on a walk later. Um, yeah, do that it. Oh, I need to pay the other half of my marathon fee. fee? Marathon fee? Confirm that for the London Marathon. Mm, that's about it. Mm, mm, mm. Episode 5 of the podcast has just gone live. Hasn't it, Danny? It has. Uh, I kind of like this lighting. Oh, girl. Anyway, yeah, look, it's up. Oh, my God. When I just picked up my camera then, I just, I, I just got a feeling like, thank God I'm back on YouTube. Danny, do you know how long oh I've been God. off YouTube? Danny, do you know how long I've been off YouTube? Let me see when I last uploaded my YouTube. God, I really need to get back into the swing of things. Let me have a look. Four weeks ago. That was your last video? Yeah. You call yourself a YouTube. I call myself a fucking influencer. Wrong. Oh my God, I, I have been uploading shorts though. And my short today got actually quite a few views. Um, anyway, uh, it's tea time. It is 20 to 7. Right, when I... Guys, right, top tip, especially for me. So your phone... Why is my phone screen not doing... Not showing you... There we go. So my phone, right, when I do work, I put this background on. Because I have one of... When you go onto your phone... Let me just show you. When I go onto my phone, if I'm doing work and you put do not disturb on, I've got my own one set and it's called you better work bitch. So when I put that on, it then like quietens all my notifications and it changes my wallpaper because my, my usual wallpaper is just me and Danny. But when you better work bitch is on, it's sunflowers. Yeah, and I don't... I don't touch it. What? I said, I distract no, but I don't touch my phone when it's on. Do when it's on. You better work, bitch, because none of my notifications come through apart from my coaching clients, and I think that's really clever. Apart from when she scrolls through TikTok. I don't. I don't go on TikTok. I don't go on TikTok. I sometimes have a TikTok drinks, but I don't really go on TikTok that much. Woo. Do that thing when you rub my back again. That was really nice. Not like that. Yeah. nice anyway tomorrow's training because i'm only doing today's what i eat and how i'm training and stuff today let me tell you about tomorrow's training let me tell you tomorrow i'm going to be doing a 40 minute weight session Whoa. and a Whoa. seven kilometer interval run um this is my first interval run for my marathon training plan um let me read you through my interval run very quickly before I go make some dinner. So I've got a two kilometre warm up with 90 seconds of walking. And then I've got four reps of one kilometre at 4.25 minutes per kilometre. And then 90 second walking rest in between. Four times round of that and then a, kilo a kilometre cool down. Is that fast 4.25? What's that? Is that fast 4.25? I don't think that's too bad. Is it? I think that's okay. Um, with 90 seconds of walking, so a minute and a half walk in between. Not too shabby. Anyway. Why does... Oh, I've got a cracking spot coming through. Cracking. Oh, that hurts. Anyway, I'm going to go make dinner. I'm having stir fry for tea. Um, I need to put these Cora Christmas back when I was showing you earlier. I had a coaching call as well, which is why I've been gone for so long. I went on a little walk and I did my coaching call. But now I'm making dinner. Stir fry for tea. Danny, what are you having? Slag ball. Slag ball. Oh, jealous. Oh, I've got no vegan mints. Just spaghetti. That's vegan. You might need the spag on it. No, I need the ball on it. I'm going to go make my stir fry. Let's go and make dinner.
was a little bit wonky, but good evening. I nearly forgot to finish the vlog. I'm really in my routine girl era. This light makes my hair look really yellow. Um, I'm in my routine girl era, okay? I've set some routine goals for January, and my goal is to read at least minimum 10 pages before I go to sleep of a book. My aim is to read, I think it's like 50 books in January, not in January, in the whole year. So I've got a list of what I wanna read. I'm currently reading, let me show you. This is the book I'm currently reading. I've seen it everywhere on Instagram. It's really good, really, really good. Told myself no phone after half past nine and asleep for latest quarter past 10. So I've just got a shower. I've got my green tea, peppermint tea. I am just about to put in my John Reader, John Frieda, <laughs> John Frieda hair oil into my hair. I'm really looking after my skin at the minute and like in fact I'm looking after myself in general because at the end of December I got injured I just wasn't looking after myself and when my mental health goes I just don't end up looking after myself is that and with anyone else like I don't even want to shower and like I don't want to look after myself so I'm looking after myself we'll see how long it lasts but that is my goal for 2023 my hair's just gone really orange in this light I don't know why um but yeah, I got injured and just for the, you know, the end of December just wasn't feeling good. So 2023, I've set some goals of like keeping a routine, being kind to myself, being kind to my brain and, you know, taking time off social media and actually spending time reading books and doing things I enjoy. So this is what I'm going to be doing this evening. It is nine o'clock. So I'm going to get into bed. I've got my last 20 minutes of phone time, which I'm probably not going to take because I'm ready for bed now. I've got my peppermint tea got my book and I'm gonna head off to bed and read my 10 pages I've actually been reading more like 25 to 30 pages um because I really want to get through this book and get on to the next one I'm like really motivated anyway I'm gonna finish the vlog here thank you guys for watching welcome back to 2023 I've got so much planned um obviously with the marathon coming up I'm gonna be talking more about my training I'll be taking through like a week of training um of like for the marathon um I've got some hauls to do and yeah I'm just really really excited for 2023 I'm really I feel really motivated for YouTube as well so hit that subscribe button make sure you stay in the loop and follow me on instagram at page food page i'm posting loads of like routine reels up on instagram as well so go follow them for a bit of motivation and yes i'm gonna go and get into bed apart from that hit that like button hit that subscribe button check me out on instagram at page food page thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next vlog they it is a subscription as well so you do get a new one every month but this can be cancelled at any time i do have a discount link in the description box down below so you can go and try out skin and me for yourself but yes thank you so much skin and me for sponsoring the video and for working with me